Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Total War Arena, the large-scale multiplayer PvP Total War game that is free-to-play. Again, thank you to the developers for inviting me to play the game, and of course, you guys can try this game for free as well. And if you use the link in the description to sign up, you not only help this channel out, but you also get some free starting out resources. In my first video on Total War Arena, I showed you guys how the overall battle system worked, I worked with 10 other teammates to defeat a large-scale AI army. To get ready to show you guys how the actual player versus player battles worked, I used some of that gold that I actually got from using the same link for signing up for the game. And I activated a premium account, which helped me get to tier 3, which is required for fighting other players a bit more quickly. So yeah guys, today I'm going to be playing my first battle against other players. It's already asking me right here, now that you're tier 3, do you want to fight against humans? The answer is definitely yes. I'm actually a bit nervous about this. Again, I'm a long-time Total War veteran, but after a long time of playing Total War games, you kind of learn how you can cheese the AI a bit. Today, I'm going to test my mettle against other experienced Total War players, which is why I'm going to use my fallback faction here, the Romans. A bit more simple to use. Just basic brute force, for the most part. As you guys can see, I have ranked my commander up to level 3, which is required for that matchmaking. And my squad is all set with mostly level 3 units. Now, I don't have the level 3 ranged units yet. I just have the level 2 javelin men. But I do have those level 3 swordsmen. So guys, let's go ahead and see how I stack up against other players. Here we go, guys. A new map. I actually haven't played this one yet. This could get interesting. Let's take a look at how things go. I think this is our base back here. Oh, lots of elevation off to the side here. This map is huge. I might try to stick to, again, pretty simple tactics. I am playing as the Roman faction. Just focus on supporting my teammates in the center with some brute force. This being a team-based game, you want to be very careful that you're moving with teammates. So I need to watch for backup, and I also need to watch that our base does not get captured here in the back. Capture the enemy base, or kill all enemy forces! Don't think I can climb through that breach up there. So let's try and get to the wall first. Just like other Total War games, you can hold down space and see movement orders that have been placed. Keep track of where everyone's going. Make sure that their formations are pointed forward. Large enemy formation on the left up there. That's concerning. I'm alone at center, so I'm going to break off. Has drawn first blood. They've got some range units just through here. But yeah, I'm actually going to let them through the gap. And I'm going to take the hill here and watch my teammates back. Whoa! What kind of fire madness was that? I wonder if I can get my guys through this gap. And around behind them as quickly as possible. Javelins go that way. Yep, there's a catapult back there somewhere too. Too much friendly fire going that direction. Swordsman. The enemy base will soon be ours. One more burst from the javelin men. That was a good hit right there. Very small amounts of friendly fire, so I'll keep it up for now. Swordsman. 
I'm going to go ahead and use that jab ability, which is useful when units are locked in combat. has a possibility of knockback. Ooh, we're taking some catapult damage. Let's try to break one of these units off to the right. Watch our six, too. All right, javelin men, go for it. Where are those units that were behind us? Yep, we got a problem. Cavalry rush in the back. And infantry behind us. Let Balona lead your blades! Alright, back off. They've got spears down. Do a short throw instead. Destroy. Don't want to take those spears on point blank. Focus your fire. We're firing on our allies. Come on, javelin men. Destroy. Our base is under attack. Have the infantry charge, so we're not getting shot in the back here too much. Our base is under attack. Cut them down. Kill. Oh, and we're getting rushed by swordsmen from behind. Run, run, run. Should be able to outrun them here. Rip them apart. So meet up with our ally back here. Battle's not quite in our favor, but we're holding on. It's going to be a close one, guys. Javelin men, revenge. Nice. Heavy infantry charge and rear flank them. Nice. Destroy them. Cut them down. Javelin men, get back down here, actually. Whoops, don't have them selected. Well, you guys are already committed now. All back some. Gotta watch our base back there. Swordman! Rip them apart! Man, their archers are just raining fire down on my javelin men non-stop. Swordman! Destroy them! Leave no survivors! Heavy charge. Go for it. Go for it. Destroy! Quickly! See if I can sneak my javelin men around to the side, possibly. We're under attack. I tried the fire ability there. I merely got my ally though. Oh, archers found my javelin men. They're out of my line of sight, unfortunately. Yep, javelin men are down. There we go. Quickly. Routed the enemies. Let's go back to base and help these guys out. Vasengeterix is dead. We've lost a couple of teammates, but so have they. The battle's a little out of favor for us. Swordman. Oh no, the archers, they're catching up again. They have some crazy range with that hillside. I might lose both of my units here. Down to just a few people. Looks like they put pikes at all the wrong entrances there. I feel like we've actually been fighting pretty hard here, but we've just been outmaneuvered quite a bit. Got like one swordsman left. Destroy them! There we go. There are cavalry's down. So I'm going to now basically just join the base guard here. I've got four men left, I think. 
No, a few more than that. It's like six or so, including my commander. And the archers are coming from the left. Yeah, that's a decent number of archers. They've lost quite a few of their number, but they're still able to put a serious volume of fire down. One last charge to help my team. Get you guys in your goofy helmets. Are we going to be able to sneak through? Oh, look at that. We got it. Oh, the charge. Yes. We caught him by surprise. Destroy! Attack! <laughs> yes! Okay, that was a pretty heroic charge right there, not gonna lie. Let's fall back because they're gonna shoot us in the back. Yep. Death has come. There goes the commander. One guy left. Literally just one soldier. They're forming up for a fight in the back. <laughs> They're not even noticing my lone guy, I don't think. Now they've seen him. There's the face off. Here come the archers to shoot me in the side. Heavy infantry charge. <laughs> Again, totally by himself. Harassing the enemy. You got it, buddy. Hold the line. Down he goes. They hobble before us. There goes my hero right there. And there it is, time is up. Defeat, but I think a pretty valiant defense. There we go, closer to tier four by a bit. We took out three enemy units, routed one of them as well, and killed an enemy commander, nice. Also used abilities 30 times in one battle. Not bad for my first PvP fight. We definitely got outmaneuvered there though. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of my Javelin Men's abilities upgraded here, and then I want to show you guys kind of an offline match, instead of a live commentary, because I know you guys want to see a victory here, right? Not just a close fight. I'm going to do a recap of the very next battle that I played, which ended up being, and I'm going to spoil it here for you guys, a very unusual victory. After all, hindsight's 2020. I think this will be a good way to show you guys the strengths of this game and how it really stands out. The map is going to be Thermopylae, which is of course the site of the famous Greek Resistance. I'm sure you guys have probably seen the movie 300, stylized of course, but you get the idea. It's a very interesting map with some very narrow channels on the north and south sides of the map, and then a very wide fighting area in the center of the map that's surrounded by forest where units can stay mostly hidden. I chose a route kind of on the middle right here. And my initial thought was, I'm going to go along this ridgeline and get my javelin men set up right at that famous gap at Thermopylae to rain fire down upon whoever comes through that gap to attack my teammates. It's a solid strategy on paper, but what I didn't take into account is javelin men aren't really traditional ranged units. They're ranged, yes, but short ranged. They don't have nearly the fire rate nor the range of archers. They pack a solid hit, and they can fight okay in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they're really not a unit that you want to put along the cliffside like I was trying to do. But, as I haven't unlocked any archer units yet, they're all I had to work with, and when I saw the enemy forces coming right through that gap, nice and lined up, I had to give it a shot. Well, this is where things started to go wrong. Although the enemy was just barely within my range for the Javelin men, they quickly realized what was going on and managed to move out of the way 
before I had time to get some shots off. This left my teammate totally exposed, even though that teammate down in the gap did get a solid volley of some fire abilities off, but from there, the enemy charged in. Now my teammate down in the gap is having to fight by himself, I focused my attention on the center of the map, because at least with the forest that I had been running around in, the enemy forces in the center hadn't really seen me yet. So I managed to get a pretty solid charge into the back center of the enemy's line. As things really started getting mixed up in the center, we had a okay advantage at the start. And again, thanks to those forests, my plan B of coming out of the forest and hitting their forces in the center from behind actually worked pretty well. Unfortunately, that plan at the center started to go south quite quickly as well. The enemy moved in a large force of cavalry right there on the left, and my teammate abandoned the fight, hoping to save his units. I don't really blame him for that, I probably would have tried the same thing, that's a lot of cavalry, but that left me fighting this very wounded player in the center by myself. I was also now getting just completely hammered by all these archers in the back, again on my own. This left me with no choice but to break contact, taking a lot of casualties as I attempted to fall back and face the enemy cavalry, which is now just messing up our entire rear part of our army. This left that pretty damaged player in the center, plenty of time to form up again and charge right back into the fight as his buddy there with the archers came up from behind. At this point, I've lost almost all of my swordsmen and my javelin men are having to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now I'm starting to wonder, this is all going so wrong here in the center, we're so outnumbered, what is going on, where is our backup? This is a team-based game, right? We're trying to back each other up here in the center, but me and these couple of other players just can't hold the line. Well, while that was frustrating as it was happening, can you guys tell what's about to happen here? See if you guys can figure it out, because as I was so focused on the fight in the center, I definitely missed it at first. But guys, look right there on the mini-map. Can you tell why we were so outnumbered in the center, and so many of our teammates were not actually backing us up? That's right, we had multiple players that instead of fighting in the center took advantage of our final stand there at the center and they snuck entire armies through the trees all the way around the map into the enemy base so although i've been wiped out here this is one of the cool parts of total war arena my last stand along with my couple of other teammates there in the center let this group of six entire units get all the way into the enemy base uncontested before the enemy even has time to react from being totally bogged down in the center there, their base is captured and we've won the match. I thought that was a pretty awesome example of how important teamwork is, and while again it was frustrating to be left essentially out to dry there in the center with just me and a couple of guys trying to hold the line, that was a pretty awesome flank. And with that, it becomes my first PvP victory here in Total War Arena. A very unusual victory to be sure, but I thought it was pretty awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Total War Arena. Again, the game is totally free to try if you want to try it for yourself. If you use that link down in the description, you not only help this channel out, but you get that starting out gold and other resources to help you dive in and see how things work for yourself. For now, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.